Hello, and welcome to this training film about the correct procedure for performing a venipuncture on a patient. Preparation. Expiry dates, allergies, and local policy must be checked when gathering equipment. In order to carry out the procedure, you will require the following to be prepared as per aseptic non-touch technique ANTT guidelines. You will need gloves, appropriate sample needle size, plastic needle holder, blood sample tubes, dedicated clean tray or prepared area, 70% alcohol cleansing wipe to prepare skin as per local policy, tourniquet, sharps bin, low linting gauze, tape or plaster, patient request form, apron. By being prepared, this can reduce delays in the procedure and the need to leave the patient, improve patient confidence, reduce risk of infection, and breaks in asepsis. Before you start the procedure, you should complete the following. Identify the patient, explain the procedure, ask patient if they have any allergies or concerns, check patient has followed any pre-test requirements, ask if the patient has any questions, gain informed consent. When identifying the patient, this will vary depending on the area you work, as not all patients will wear a patient ID bracelet. Details should match request form. Inspect potential venipuncture sites for possible contraindications. Identify non-dominant side where possible. Assemble the equipment. Wash your hands using the six step technique. During this time, check your hands for any broken areas which will require being covered with a waterproof dressing. Take equipment to the patient. If patient is nervous, try to position the equipment in reach of you, but out of the sight of the patient. Assist the patient to position appropriately if unable to do so themselves. The hand or arm placed below the level of the heart where possible. Identify and palpate vein. Ensure patient is comfortable with arm supported. Demonstrated is the arm being supported on a pillow with a disposable cover to minimize the risk of infection. Assess if there is a need for a tourniquet. Apply a tourniquet approximately 5 to 10 centimeters above venipuncture site. The tourniquet should not be in place for longer than 60 seconds. Applying the tourniquet dilates the veins by preventing venous return. If pulse is occluded, the tourniquet is too tight. Patient may be asked to clench their fist. Palpate the vein by aligning finger in the direction of the vein and gently stroking or pressing, selecting a suitable vein based on the characteristics mentioned in the course. This assessment of the vein will reduce potential damage to the vein by supporting or changing needle size selection. Tourniquet needs to be released once a suitable vein has been identified. Wash hands with bacterial hand rub or using six step hand washing technique. Reapply tourniquet. Put on gloves before preparing patient's skin. Prepare the patient's skin as per local policy, wiping gently in a back and forth motion for 30 seconds. Allow to dry for 30 seconds. Do not repalpate or touch the skin after the skin is prepared. Remove the cap from the needle. You need to inspect the needle for defects and to ensure the bevel of the needle is upwards during insertion. Anchor vein below the site of insertion. Patient may tighten fist to increase venous access. Depth of angle will depend on vein size and depth, approximately 30 degrees. Attach required sample bottle to needle holder and allow to fill to required level following the correct order of draw. Ask the patient to loosen their fist once flow is established. This should be done with as little pressure on the needle as possible. Being organized and having equipment positioned in easy reach is key, especially when needing to use multiple sample bottles. For some instances, the tourniquet will be released at the beginning of sampling or on the final sample bottle. This will depend on samples being collected. Once sample has been collected, remove the sample bottle from the holder and have low linting gauze to hand. Place over the needle without pressure until the needle is fully removed. Ask patient to apply pressure directly over the puncture site until bleeding stops. 
support patient if unable to do so themselves. Apply safety device, put used needle into sharps bin. Slowly invert the sample bottles as per manufacturer's guidance. Remove gloves and apron discarding in clinical waste bin. Wash hands with bacterial hand rub or using six step hand washing technique. Label bottles correctly. Making an error can cause patient to undergo procedure again and results be delayed. Put on gloves. Assess puncture site before applying a dressing. Apply a dressing as per local policy and allergies. Ensure patient is comfortable and answer any questions they may have. Ensure all records are completed correctly within local policy.